Hey everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, learningdslrvideo.com. I despise AA batteries, putting them in and taking them out of my LED lights or whatever DSLR accessory, because there's tons of accessories that uses use these batteries instead of the AA's. And these are the Sony style, I believe. Um, the model number is NPF550 or 560. Um, they're 7.2 volts, um, two, thousand milliamps um, I bought three of them it wasn't much quite of an investment in fact they pay for themselves in the very first use because for the price of a six pack of double A's you can get one of these it's about the same price which is just ridiculous so I wanted to see how well they could last against al um, alkalines double A alkalines in a test so I put a whole bunch of different lights up um, so I'm not testing the lights here, I'm just testing the batteries. So first up on the left, we've got the Canova uh, branded LED light with a rechargeable. The next one is the Amaran AL198A using an alkaline. The next one is the Amaran AL198A or C using the rechargeable. Uh, next one is the CN160 using a rechargeable. And the last one is another CN160 using an alkaline. So on the top, what I've done is I put for reference the starting point of where the LED started. And on the bottom, you'll see how they decay over time. Let's get started. So it looks like pretty much you can get an hour and a half, maybe two hours out of these rechargeables, which I think is pretty good. And you'll notice that the alkalines start to die off pretty quickly after two hours um, in terms of their output. But I've been running them right now for over 16 hours downstairs and they're still going. So if you're using it for something like maybe camping, alkalines might be the way to go. But if you're using it more for like studio lighting or uh, an interview setup where it's a hair light or a three-quarter backfill light or whatever you're using it for or some sort of light to make an object um, appear brighter in the background, whatever you're using it for. Um, hour and a half, two hours is pretty good and you can just you know swap these suckers out as you need to during your shoot. So it appears that these batteries uh, on fully charged are about 8.3 volts and when they're dead, they're totally dead. When I took them out after the test, they registered zero. So pretty much everything about these batteries are great. I got three of them. Um, the only thing that's not great <laughs> is how long it takes to recharge them. I'm recharging one right now. It's been in the wall for over two and a half hours and the thing is still not done charging. Um, I don't know if it's a function of the charger I bought. The charger I bought was like four or five bucks on uh, eBay or Amazon. I think I bought it off of Amazon. In fact, I bought these off of Amazon as well. And I'll put the link to all these batteries and battery chargers in my show notes on my website. So I don't know if this is the charger, if it's like a slow trickle charge type thing. Um, and maybe it holds the charge better. I have no idea. But if anybody knows of a charger that goes faster than this one, Maybe that can charge them in a half hour or an hour instead of like, I don't know, it's probably going to finish in about three hours. I think that's what it was before. Um, please let me know. All right. That's pretty much it. Talk to you guys later. Bye.